So as you guys are aware, things just aren't looking very good for Ubisoft. Everybody's making fun of Ubisoft right now because, to be honest with you, Ubisoft has been very forward with their ideology as of late. You know, over the last couple of years, they've really been driving it home that they want you to understand that DEI is at the forefront of everything that they do. This company has been doing this for a while. We have a post here that is going viral from Video Entertainment Analysis Group back in 2015 where they're talking about how Ubisoft is paving the way for all studios because they are doing the, the decision to hire based on just simply gender alone. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Now, the ironic thing about this entire post is that we are now in the future where we can see exactly what happens when you do dumb shit like this, right? Which is why I love the internet, because you can go back in time and see certain things that were said and kind of pinpoint where everything started to probably fall down. You know, this picture came to me from Grums over on Twitter, so let's go over it. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. So Grums said the following, this age poorly... He's referencing, obviously, the picture from this uh, group over here. Again, this photo proves my point. Companies that go out of their way to have all women photos are just doing it for virtue points. That I agree. Okay, we, we ever, whenever we see all group photos for studios uh, from the West, especially, or even if it's like, if it's not Asian, you're going to see pretty much all women for the most part, right? When they do, when they do the all studio shot, it's almost all women now. Every single studio does it. It's it's only ever women. When you have Asian studios, they tend to show everybody, male, we, uh, women, and you can kind of actually see that it's pretty diverse, ironically. But when you have it from Western studios or other studios like Ubisoft, it's almost all women and they, and they want it that way. Uh, then it says illegal hiring quotas don't make you a better studio. I agree. They just put meritocracy at the, as the last priority as it becomes increasingly difficult to find the skin color, gender, sexual orientation you seek to slot into your company in mass. When you hire for superficial qualities rather than excellence, you're going to have a bad time. And I, I agree with that, man. Like we, we've been dealing with so many issues in the gaming industry or entertainment as a whole because there are people that have been given positions that they are not qualified for. And at the end of the day, man, it doesn't matter that a white person person could have did the job better all i want is the person who could do the duck the fucking job best in the role whether you're black white spanish or asian or indian i don't give a fuck can you do the job are you competent at this point or are you gonna be one of the people who are like like at firewalk studios for example getting paid a salary for eight years and you couldn't even produce a game like, are we talking about that level of competence here then it says excellence can be found across the spectrum of diversity, but you can't force it, make it happen, and expect to take a sub-5% minority group, putting inside women here, and expect to fill 50% of your positions with it effectively. Now, this I never quite understood. Every company says that they're going to have 50% diversity, uh, you know, for whatever, 50% diversity, um, you know, for, for certain skin colors, certain races and whatnot, but they plan to, they plan to all hit that number and yet, just statistically speaking, for the races, at least in the United States of America, that's going to be very difficult, right? How are you going to fill 50% of your capacity with 13% of the population? And then you got to remember that 13% of the population, most of them don't even want to be in the gaming industry to begin with. It's going to be very difficult for you to fill these quotas. And again, having quotas is fucking dumb. Hire people based off their merit, you know, but they, they don't ever want to do that. So let's go in this picture here. So again, it says from 2015, November 5th, congratulations to Ubisoft for paving the way for game development studios to hire based on gender. The best decisions are always made with a diverse group of minds, not necessarily a talented or passionate one from Josh. Bro, what are you talking about? Can you imagine saying that the best decisions are made with a diverse group of minds, not a talented or passionate one? Are you fucking kidding me? This proves that they wanted to hire skin color and diversity over merit. This proves it because it literally says it right here. They don't believe that the best decisions can be made from necessarily a talented or passionate team, but from a diverse team, right? You got to make sure you have all the skin colors, all the races, all the blah, blah, blah. Blah, and this is coming from people that are still majority white. Look at Ubisoft back in 2007. Majority white. Just look at the fucking picture. You got one black person here on the right side. You got an Asian woman here on the left. Ton of white people. All white people here in this picture. Okay. So let's see. Maybe, maybe it got better, right? Maybe it got better in the future. Maybe they hired a lot of diverse people. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Wow. Oh, so your version of diversity back in 2014 now, seven years later, was just to add a bunch of fucking whammon. That was your idea of diversity. Add a bunch of whammon that are so goddamn large they fill a hallway. Like, this is your idea of diversity. This is your problem. This is, and most of them look white too on top of that. You still got that one Asian girl, you know, you got to make sure you got the one Indian looking girl over here and you got a darker skin Latina looking girl here. Most of them are still white. What did you do? What did you do? Ubisoft of Montreal. Like, what did you do? There is nothing here that showcases diversity. You guys became less diverse. You guys all became the hive mind. This is a fucking joke, man. And again, the beautiful thing about this is that we can see the results of what that does, right? So if you look here, let's go over, let's go over a five-year metric, right? I, that's what I really want to drive home. So when was this taken? This was taken, uh, let's see this picture really here. 2007, but the post was from 2015. Okay. So can we go back to 2015? No, it's probably going a little bit too far back. All right. Well, we could go, we could go to 2019, where there was a little bit of a boom here. Okay. So in 2020, they were worth their most at 84, 84 euro. Okay. Now you can see a very, very steep decline of not only DEI practices, but let's be real, really bad fucking business decisions. That's really what it is. And they dropped from, I want to reiterate, 84, 60 euro all the way down to 10, 10. They lost 70 euro a share in vo in, in in value 70 euro share now they are experiencing a boom recently and that's mainly because they announced that the potential sale of uh, ubisoft to 10 cents so people are trying to get in cheap at ubisoft in the hopes that they can get money from the sale if the company 10 cent buys them out completely and goes private they're, they're hoping that this is going to be a thing but ultimately it's not you're going to see the stock start to drop again at some point it's going to have a little blip right here because this is not the first time it had a blip right it had a little bit of blip a couple of times right here and then eventually it just goes back down again but right now they're at their best that they have been uh for a while for a few months now since uh it looks like september of the year so again guys this thing is 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 not looking good okay it's not looking good and they need to get bought out or they need to they need to sell i don't really know what they need to do but at the end of the day man we see exactly what happens when the certain mindset oh, okay here we go so I, I was able to go back so in 2015 all right in 2015 they had a close of 15 euro okay then they seem to have skyrocketed and the reason why they skyrocketed is because, quite frankly, they were putting out they were putting out some bangers. Oh, so the highest they've ever had was 94 euro. They were putting out some bangers. And in 2020, you know, 2019, 2020, everybody knows what happened then. You know, tech companies were massively inflated at that time. And they were getting a lot of money at that point. And they were doing a lot of investing because they thought that they were going to have the client base stuck in their homes for years on end. Then after that didn't happen, we saw the bloat just completely disappear. And then before you know it, you're just getting absolutely fucked again. So, guys, Ubisoft is not looking good. I, I, I've, I've said this in so many videos. Ubisoft is not looking good. And by doing shit like this, it's not really going to make anything better. It's just going to continue to make things worse. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.